all people that on earth do dwell, number 785 in the green one faith Unavos hymnal. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My sisters, my brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. My son, when you come to serve the Lord, stand in justice and fear. Prepare yourself for trials. Be sincere of heart and steadfast. Incline your ear and receive the word of understanding, undisturbed in time of adversity. Wait on God with patience, cling to him, Forsake him not, thus will you be wise in all your ways. Accept whatever befalls you when sorrowful, be steadfast, and in crushing misfortune be patient. For in fire gold and silver are tested, and worthy people in the crucible of humiliation. Trust God, and God will help you. Trust in him, and he will direct your way. Keep his fear and grow old therein. You who fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Turn not away, lest you fall. You who fear the Lord, trust him, and your reward will not be lost. You who fear the Lord, hope for good things, for lasting joy and mercy. You who fear the Lord, love him, and your hearts will be enlightened. Study the generations long past and understand, has anyone hoped in the Lord and been disappointed? Has anyone persevered in his commandments and been forsaken? Has anyone called upon him and been rebuffed? Compassionate and merciful is the Lord. He forgives sins. He saves in time of trouble. And he is a protector to all who seek him in truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Commit your life to the Lord and he will help you. 
Commit your life to the Lord and he will help you. Trust in the Lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord and he will grant you your heart's requests. Commit your life to the Lord and he will help you. The Lord watches over the lives of the wholehearted. Their inheritance lasts forever. They are not put to shame in an evil time. In days of famine, they have plenty. Commit your life to the Lord and he will help you. Turn from evil and do good that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. Commit your life to the Lord and he will help you. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Commit your life to the Lord, and he will help you. except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee, but he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, the Son of Man is to be handed over to men and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, what were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent, for they had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, if anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst and putting his arms around it, he said to them, whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you think about it, the message that Jesus gave his disciples today um, doesn't seem to make sense. Of course, a lot of things that Jesus said um, only make sense because of our faith. So basically what he was saying is that to be important, you have to be like a little child. Now. I would scratch my head about that if I were Peter or Andrew or James uh, and, and say, well, what does this mean? To be important, doesn't that, doesn't that have to do with how much money I have or how much influence I have or how many books I've read or all of the things that have made me the successful person that I am? Isn't that what I need to be important in, in your eyes, Jesus? And he would say, of course not. This is what you have to do. You have to be aware of the fact that you have to be humble. You, you have to be somebody who understands that serving other people is not in any way uh, d diminishing of 
who you are as, as far as God is concerned. I think it's one of the most beautiful things about living in families, you know, when families work together, when mothers and fathers are aware of the service that they give to their children is, is something that's very blessed by God. It's not always easy. Sometimes it's frustrating, but it's a very special blessing that they have within their family unit to, uh, to serve God by taking care of their kids, by bringing them up the right way, by educating them, by providing them with food and lodging and all the things that a parent does for his or her child. Um, and that's what the Lord is talking about, that when we are aware of the needs of other people, speaking to the apostles, um, it would have been easy for them to say, well, Peter, you must be the most important because he counts on you all the time. Or John, you must be the most important because he likes you. And uh, Judas, you must be uh, really important because you hold a money bag. All of those things were opportunities for them to, to point to themselves and say, look at how important I, I am. But over and over and over again, Jesus said to them, and he says to us, that the importance of who we are has to do with how we take care of other people. Remember in the, uh, the parable of the last judgment in Matthew 25, Jesus says at the end of time, uh, the king will separate the sheep from the goats, the sheep he'll place on his right and the goats on his left. And then he'll say, you, I was hungry and you fed me, I was thirsty and you gave me drink, I was naked and you clothe me, all of these opportunities to follow God by taking care of other people. And Jesus said to the apostles, he said, this is how God's going to judge you, not how many times you went to the, to the temple and sacrificed whatever you did, but how you took care of other people. And so for us, we live in a, in a difficult um, society uh, where people's ideas of importance have nothing to do with serving other people. But what Jesus teaches is that taking care of other people is something that's blessed by God. It might be difficult, it might be irksome, it might be something that we shy away from sometimes because of our human nature, but it, it's something very important because over and over again, the Lord himself taught his apostles that this is important. And so the same thing for ourselves. And when we have that opportunity to take care of other people, we should say to ourselves, I'm doing this not because I'm a good guy, but because I'm a believer. This is what Jesus wants me to do. And that will be a blessing for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our shepherd, Cardinal Dolan, that God bless them and guide them we pray to the Lord for ourselves that we do everything we can to bring happiness and holiness to our families. We pray to the Lord for those who work for the defense of human life, those who work for peace and for justice, that God may bless their labors. We pray to the Lord for those whom we serve in different ways, that God may bless them because of our service and that God may bless us also, we pray to the Lord. And in the silence of our own hearts, let each of us add our own imp most important intention. We pray to the Lord. O Lord our God, we ask you to listen to our prayers. We bring them to you in the name of Jesus, our brother and savior, who is with you as God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands who will become our spiritual drink. God. My sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let accept his sacrifice at our hands, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Redeemer and Savior, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Father Emerlindo, whom you have called from this world to yourself. 
Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of our Lord's peace. Peace, Christ, Father. of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join in singing our communion hymn, number 584, Let All Mortal Flesh Keep Silence, number 584.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Please join in singing our recessional hymn, number 586, From All That Dwell Below the Skies, number 586. through